back. So starting out Monday, I was the only one in the shop uh, for the day. So I just had a quiet day working on uh, stuff with the main landing gear. So what you're looking at here is a little uh, micro switch uh, that indicates whether the gear is down and locked. So I got that mounted and also that little bracket there for it to engage against and adjusted it nicely so it just clicks on when the gear is fully over center there. And same thing on the other side. And if you remember before, I actually had sort of a reed switch there, magnetic reed switch. But the little magnet on the bottom there where that silver bracket is kept breaking off for some reason. I couldn't figure out why. Um, it was sort of plastic housing. So anyway, I had to get rid of that and go with this. So that's working now. So I've got three green uh, lights on the dash now. Okay, so on to the puzzle that I've mentioned in the title. This is the uh, what I've come up with for the retraction mechanism for the lower half of the main gear doors. So, and I've designed all this in the CAD, and it works in CAD, um, but you know, in the real world, it can be different. So, I've got the bracket there that hooks on or that bonds on to the lower part of the door, and then that other bracket there with a swing arm on it, uh, and then there's going to be a rod that joins those two, and then the swing arm will actually contact the hard point inside of the um, the wheel well as the gear comes up and it'll pull that rod which will uh, actuate the door and pull that lower half of the door closed so uh, what i've done there is now cut out uh, in the core there or cut out the core from that part of the door there so i can mount that um, nicely on the outside skin and this one i've just gone and bonded into place and just using um, some t88 to bond these in and later on I'll do a layup over both of them to strengthen them uh, some more. And that, that little swing arm there has some uh, bushings and stuff on it so it rotates nicely. And as, as I said, I'm hoping it all works smoothly. So now we're on to Tuesday and I had to run up to Brits uh, because I've got this quarter inch rod and I wanted to um, cut it to length and also take it down on the end so I could um, put a thread on there and uh, connect my little rod ends there for the main gear and you've got to take it down to about 1.189 uh, um, it's like sort of you know, 3 sixteenths or whatever before you can actually um, tap the thread on there so anyway just cutting two pieces to length there I needed them about 12 inches long and uh, then got them up on the lathe and took it from a quarter inch down to about um, 0.189 like I said and uh, once that was done, I was able to um, put the die on there and get the thread going. So I could have done this with a larger um, rod the way I've done before on other linkages, but I don't have a lot of room there in between that gear door and the bracket that holds that, the gear door on. So I needed a narrower rod, but it still needed to be st uh, strong enough and not flex in order you know, to um, actuate the door correctly without it sort of you know, flopping all over the place. And I have to give another shout out to Britt uh, for all the um, stuff that he's done for me for this project, you know, allowing me to use all his things and all his guidance and all the welding and all that sort of stuff. So um, thanks again, Britt. Much appreciated. And so lastly here, I just got the, uh, the die on there and uh, just got the thread started there and then uh, ultimately ended up uh, taking it back to the hanger and finishing them off there because I had, you know, four, four ends that I needed to. Uh, thread on there so here I'm just putting a little bit of tap magic on there and and just finishing off the thread so um, while you're watching me do that I'll let you know that um, over the weekend and also today and and Monday Mark and I have been going over um, ideas for the solution for this redrive and we believe that um, idea that I came up with that I mentioned last time in the last video is going to work and Mark has now uh, sourced um, some bearings that are going to work on the uh, oil shuttle so it's basically going to ride on, uh, the oil shuttle is going to ride on some bearings that are going to ride on the prop shaft and that the housing of the oil shuttle is not going to touch the, um, the main housing of the uh, redrive at all. And the feed tubes that are going to feed oil in and then um, feed the return sort of oil feed out from uh, the oil that goes to the prop, those are just going to be um, surrounded by some grommets. So they'll, have, they'll sort of have a cushioning effect there. Um, so that'll stop the oil shuttle itself from rotating inside of the housing. But at the same time, if the shaft at all moves out of alignment with the rest of the main um, prop housing because of any sort of um, 
any sort of play in the um, in the tapered roller bearings, then the shaft is you know is is not going to impact the um, the uh, oil shuttle. It's going to ride you know around that shaft, and and so the, the tight clearance area where the oil feed goes through into the prop there. There's no no possible way for that to impact like it did last time. So anyway, that's coming along, and we'll uh, get the design sorted out for that and uh, and get it underway. And hopefully, um, you know, I can get all the get the parts and that machine for that. And it's really just a shuttle, and we're probably going to have to make a new shaft as well because the other one did get damaged um, when that previous shuttle sort of welded itself against it, and I can't uh, rely on that going to fit these new bearings that we've got. So anyway, hopefully we'll get all that done and have it ready for at least um, Oshkosh time. And uh, Jeff and Devin back in the shop again on Tuesday. So here Jeff's gone and uh, dragged a radius there around uh, that transition from the straight sort of extension there on the doors. And he's also put a little bit of fill in some of the other spots here and around where the door handle is. And this is just um, some resin and micro. So uh, that'll get a sanding there probably uh, tomorrow and then get a final round of primer on there. And uh, here's Jeff outside working on the first of the lower surfaces there of the uh, main wing after the initial priming and fill and guide coat on there. So uh, that one is the first of the two wings that had the second sort of set of attention there on the lower side. And as you'll see in a little bit, um, the two of them got the, um, the fill done there, a little patch fill done as well. So that'll be up for another round of primer here shortly. And then you can see the all the little missed spots there have been filled. So that'll get a last little bit of sanding tomorrow and that'll be ready for another round of primer. Although I'm not sure exactly when Jeff's going to do that. And he started there on the winglet as well on the other side, getting that sorted out. And before I forget, I was uh, working on trying to get rid of that noise in the radios again. And actually it turns out with a little bit more testing it is actually coming from the uh, little Wi-Fi hotspot. So I haven't managed to um, you know, f uh, fix this problem yet. So I'm still working on that. And uh, Devin's been sanding on this wing, getting that one ready for the next round of primer on the top. And that one still needs the treatment on the bottom as what the other one got. And so this is where things ended up uh, on uh, the end of the day today, Tuesday. So I had to pop those brackets off and re um, bond them into place because they were a little bit too far back. I wanted them a little bit sticking far forward so I could get a little bit more rotation on the doors. And um, the rod, it work, it's working good for pulling the door shut. Um, I think that's going to work fine, but the problem I'm having is um, there's the other rod, the ones that I created up at Brits uh, with the rod ends on there. So the problem I'm having with this little puzzle now is that um, that rod there connects on here and I'll see if I can sort of screw it on there a little bit with one hand a little bit difficult um, but anyway so that connects on there and then that uh, arm there um, with the FR4 the sort of green colored thing that will hit on a hard point inside of the wheel well and as it hits on there it um, it um, pulls on that rod which basically pulls that lower door shut and that works fine so then I wanted to have a spring and my plan was to have a spring in order to force it back the other way so as the door comes open the spring would actually pull that rod forward or push it forward and that would rotate the door um, and I basically tried it there I put a little hole in that um, carbon fiber skin and I tried different sort of springs there and I had it, it pushes forward fine but once it gets all the way sort of to the open position it doesn't have enough um, power on it to hold it, to hold the door like really, you know, snugly shut. So I'm trying this and I know it's a bit of a kludge, but at this point I've just got to make it work. We're getting too late in the game to come up with a, a different solution. So I've got a little cable going through here and ultimately if this all works, I will have, um, you know, a little wheel in there um, or at least something for it to slide on. So the idea will be there's a spring at the end of the cable inside the gear door there and that will attach to uh, another hole on the lower gear door and want to pull it sort of back open the other way and that way it's, it's got a good, good angle on the door and it doesn't take as much spring to do that so as I say the spring will attach to the cable there and be stretched out and mounted a little bit further up the door there so I'm going to try that out and see if that works so anyway 
And lastly, um, this is the, how the floor plane looks now. It's pretty much done. Um, a little bit more, a couple more things to go on the elevators there, just to get those balanced nicely. They need to be dynamically balanced. Um, but other than that, we're ready to sort of mount that floor plane now. So that'll be happening maybe the rest of this week, sometime. Anyway, that's your update for the first half of this week. Thanks again for watching and uh, tune in again on Saturday. Thank you.